can trust that it's going to happen at the best time for you. Okay, now it's possible, but how do I get there? Walk the path to map the path. Resisting the flow. This one is woo -woo -woo. The flow is taking you where you want to go. And one way we do that is getting super clear on what we're vibrating. This is not happening because I don't believe I can go there. Let's I don't go. believe I deserve to go there. It's one of those days. Remove the human, let the being speak. Remove the ego, Re feel the soul, feel your heart, the difference between your heart and your mind. Welcome to today. We're back in this energy right now. I'm talking to your soul. I am talking from my soul to yours. I want you to feel the immensity of this moment. We're on a planet. The earth is spinning. The moon, I saw the moon this morning in the daytime, and that just makes me be like, this is nuts, okay? There's a moon floating around. My grandmother used to think it was gas, and I couldn't tell her because she was too old. I didn't want to freak her out that it's not gas. She didn't know what the moon was. We're getting off topic, but we're also right on topic because we're exactly where we need to be right now. If you're listening to this, if you're tuning in, every single thing is happening for for you. This is exactly where you need to be. You are exactly on your path, the right step right now. And I hope today helps you build the awareness on that, helps you feel an instant energy shift to see your experience in a totally different light so you can have more fun, so you can simply enjoy more. You have more miracles. You have more synchronicities. You have more mystical experiences. I want it all for you, okay? I want it all for you. Okay, my life is fantastic. Okay, my life is fantastic. And I hope the same for you. And now today's episode is about the five common blocks, just five that I've thought of off the bat that I asked people this and they, they asked about self-limiting beliefs. They asked about this and that. And this is what I came up with. And I'm super excited because every one of these is about building your faith in the universe, building your vibration. And if you build that faith and you have that strong faith, that's one thing. But there's an, another part of it is building awareness on where you're lacking that faith and where you're, you're leaking that vibration and where you're blocking that energy. So this is going to be really fun and I'm excited for you. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your energy exchange. My expression is nothing without your reception. Okay. Every, every single moment is an expression of the universe and this is my soul expressing itself and I'm enjoying my life and I'm excited for you guys to amplify that. Oh, amplify that. So please share, leave a comment, subscribe wherever you're listening to this. Join my Energy Freak community, the energy portal where I post every single day. And I'm also developing a six-week freak course to take people one-on-one -on -one privately so you can share your uh, direct experience and we could work together on finding these blocks that I'm about to go over. So if anything resonates with you, I would love to work with you directly. You know where to find me. My name is Steven. Enjoy. Welcome to today and excited. So five common blocks. Let's go. And as I go through these, I'd love to know if you have any questions and let me know if you have the same experience because it's fun. Okay. So the first one is timing. Simply put, trusting in divine timing and when divine timing a lot of times in my life recently has been with the partner uh, going on going meeting different people and, and trying to share my life with somebody and if you have that divine timing you could say okay it will happen when it's supposed to happen now I've had amazing experiences in my life that I can look back on and be like oh my gosh if this would have happened when I wanted it to happen instead of divine timing it would not have worked out because then this happened and now is the perfect time so whether it's a physical physical goal, you want to achieve a physical goal, you want to dunk, you want to lift a new PR, you want your business to be successful, you want a new client. First of all, everything is just a reflection of your vibration. So they're not happening right now because you're not vibrating at that level. So you can start to ask yourself, what am I vibrating at? Why not? And we will uncover limiting beliefs as we do this. So if you're trusting in the timing, maybe you say, I don't trust this is ever going to happen. But if you can trust that it's going to happen at the best time for you, that can help you bring more peace and, and go with what's best for you right now. So of course, build patience. <clears throat> but if you can allow yourself to see that things work out at the right time, and maybe you have had an experience where things worked out better timing than you thought you, you wanted it to happen, that will help you going forward knowing that, okay, if this is not happening, 
there's a reason for that. And here's another example that I love. So many times this has happened in my life. I try to make something something happen. For example, I want to work with a client or a photo shoot. I'm like, I really want to work with this person. They're out of town. I really want to work with this person. It starts raining so we can't do our outdoor thing. And then we don't talk for months and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. It happens effortlessly and then we create magic together. So just know I've had those experiences, but notice that in your life, if you've tried something for so long and then when you don't try, not that when you, well, when you do not try less resistance, it does happen. But also when it's supposed to happen, it happens so fast and so effortlessly. So that's how I want every experience in your life. Trust in the divine timing. The next one is really fun, and I really love this one because it's one of the the ones I see help instantly shift people the most, which is understanding that you're using your past to predict your future. You're saying, this is how it's always gone in the past, so this is how it will go in the future. How limiting is that? You're saying, this one experience is going to be the same experience I'm going to have in the infinite possibilities of the future. And on top of that, you say to yourself, because it hasn't happened this way yet, I don't believe it can happen. And that is so limiting because you don't see it, right? And I'm going to get into that a little bit more later. But just think of your past. Just because it's happened that way does not mean it will go that way in the future. If anything, you should be like, that's just one way it happened. And my future is open to all these possibilities, okay? So notice your past experiences. Notice what happened. You may uncover trauma where you're avoiding that in the future. So not only are you limiting yourself being like, that's what's going to happen. But you might be like, that's what happened. I don't want that to happen again. So you're worried. You're afraid that that past is going to happen again. So I invite you to be like, you know what? I accept that that happened. I'm grateful that that happened. I am healing that. And because I've healed that, I know I can have a different experience in the future. So allow yourself to have that different experience. And you see how it's an allowing, because if you have that trauma, If you went into a bush when you're a caveman and you went into that bush and you got killed by a tiger, right? Or you saw your friend get eaten, you're not going to bring a friend to that place because he's going to get eaten by a tiger again, right? But that's not how we live anymore. There's not tigers in bushes. There still are, but that's our subconscious mind. It's in survival mode. So a big part of this is understanding when your mind is trying to protect you. And if you could build awareness that you can say, that is just a fear I have. And you don't have to act on that. And you could allow yourself to be like, there's infinite possibilities. And that's what I want to bring to you right now is ask yourself, what are the possibilities? If you let go of that past, if you, if you bless that past, if you accept that past experience, you say, what are my possibilities? It'll bring those fears and doubts to the surface so you can now see them. And when you see that you have these possibilities within you and you ask that question to yourself and those possibilities come up, you'll be like, wow, I have this ability to see so much more uh, outside of my mind. And that's what I want for you to do. I hope this empowers you to see that you have those answers within you to be like, okay, what are the possibilities right now? Jokingly around, right? Uh, Deepak Chopra says this. I can, there's infinite possibilities. That's what he says karma is. Infinite choices. Right now I could start screaming on this podcast. Right now I could start singing. Right now I could go jump off my balcony. Right now I could slam my computer. Right now I could say, I love you, right? All these different choices, all these different possibilities, And if you start thinking of that, then fears come up like, I don't know how this will happen. This is what usually happens. This is what always happens. This is what I'm afraid will happen. So by building that awareness, you can choose differently. And that leads me to number three, not knowing how. So another big block, a limiting belief of when you choose those infinite possibilities, you say to yourself, okay, now it's possible, but how do I get there? And because you don't know how, because you don't have an exact path, you don't move because you're afraid of what may happen. You're more afraid of what may happen than staying stagnant in this position. That's the survival. That's the ego. That's what we want to avoid. Now, here's my invitation to you is I want you to be Christopher Columbus. Don't quote me on history or geography. I'm getting better at it, but it's not my forte. Point is, just think of somebody that's discovering land, Ponce de Leon. We live in Florida. I think that's a good fact for you. So say we're Ponce de Leon, okay? And we're saying we're going to explore a new land. Is he going to be like, I'm going to map out Florida and then I'm going to go to it? No, he goes to Florida and then he maps it out and then he makes an apartment on the beach that Stephen now lives in. (laughs) Manifested it, by the way. Whole other story. But 
point is, I invite you to have the courage to say, that's a possibility. I'm going to start walking towards it despite not having an exact path and understand that you are mapping your path as you walk down it. So for example, if you're walking down a path, you'd be like, okay, that's an obstacle. Now you can attack it. Or that's another path. I can attack it. Whatever it is, you have to walk down the path to start seeing it. But a lot of times you say, ooh, all the way down that path, I don't know what's going to happen there. I don't even want to go towards it. That's not, that's blocking yourself. That's not allowing yourself to start moving down the path. But you have to start moving down the path to see more. For example, there's a building outside my window right now. I can't see what's around it, but if I start walking and I have a different perspective, that's what it's like walking into the unknown. As you walk into the unknown, you can see from a different vantage point. And I'm a freaking genius. So remember, walk the path to map the path. Next one, resisting the flow. This one is woo woo woo. This one is fun to feel, fun to do. We sometimes resist the flow. So if you're watching on the video, if you're listening on the podcast, I'm holding my hand up as a wall. A lot of times we want to go from A to B and they're so close together. Say they're like an inch away, but there's a freaking cement wall between them and you're just bang, 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 hitting the wall, right? But the flow, the universe wants to pull you around this wall to get from A to B effortlessly. But if you're looking at it from a 3D perspective, it's taking you up instead of towards B. So A to B is left to right, and the universe wants to take you up and around the wall. But you're like, no, 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 that's away from B. That's away from my, that's detachment. Detachment is understanding your desire is set. You believe in your desire. You trust your desire is taking you where you want to go. And the universe is like, yes, this is where we're going to go. We're going to take you there. But if you resist the flow, you're like, I don't want to go that direction. Then you're never going to go around it. You might be hitting your wall forever and that is not a fun place to be so allow yourself to flow with wherever the universe takes you and trust that the universe is taking you towards your desire now how do you do that that's what i do with the people i work with one-on-one is we strengthen that vibration and we strengthen that faith in that process to understand that the flow is taking you where you want to go and one way we do that is getting super clear on what we're vibrating. And what I mean by that is we say, what do we want? And we think about that so much. This might lead into the next one, but we get so clear on where we want to go. And then as we start going there, we say, this is happening. We notice what's happening. We notice the experiences. We, We ask the right questions. We start to notice this is not happening because I don't believe I can go there. I don't believe I deserve to go there. So for example, if I say to myself, I used to think to myself, the more I struggle, the more I earn what I struggle for. The more work I put in, the more I achieve. But I don't want that to be my life because I don't want to have to work harder and harder and harder. I don't want to have to struggle more and more and more to expand. I want to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy more to expand. I want to be in the flow and feel more effortless to expand. I want to effortlessly create things. I want to be a creative genius, right? But do you allow yourself to do that? Ask yourself, do I deserve, even when I say I can feel my old patterns coming up, if I say I want to enjoy my life to be the more I enjoy life, the more I expand. It already feels irresponsible. It already feels like who am I to believe that? Who am I to enjoy such a beautiful life when other people are struggling, right? But that's the life I want want to live and that's the pattern I have to carve and that's our right as beings that's our our gift as being a human being is we can create our reality and I want that to be my life so just like making a business of course you have to work hard and you have to know when to work hard but you want to achieve something you want to work on something you're passionate about purposeful but if you're chasing the money you say I want to make this money you make all the money but you you worked in a way that's super high stress anxious you're working 90 hours a week and you're making the money but you're like I have no time to freaking live I don't like this what I've built I don't like this vibration I've created I don't like this pattern I've carved now you have to change it up so of course I want you to be successful but I want you to be successful and passionate and fulfilled and happy at the same time. Of course, I want you to achieve your physical goals, but I want you to be pain-free. I want you to raise your vibration to a new foundation. I don't want you to just touch and have a glimpse of a dream. I want your dream to be your new reality. So a new quote that I like to say to myself is, I don't want my dreams to become reality. I want my, my we, well, I'm going to try that again to make it more eloquent. 
I don't want my dreams to become reality. I want my reality to become a dream because I want every day to feel like that bliss and I want to start carving that and that takes practice, that takes awareness and that takes that belief, that trust that that's possible. But back to the self-worth is when you get to those cores, when you say, am I going the right way? Am I on the path? When you finally start going towards it, you may come up against this self-worth issue which I've dealt with a lot of my life. Who am I to think I can live this life of an effortless expansion? Who am I to say I'm a creative genius? Who am I to say that my ideas are amazing? Who am I to say that I can achieve these physical feats with these genetics, right? Those are all downplaying your self-worth. So I invite you to Think of that expansive life. Think of that beautiful life that you want and notice, just notice if you have these self-limiting beliefs come because that is a huge block and I'm here to tell you, I am here right now to tell you, you deserve it all. You deserve to have both and if you don't feel that way, work with, hit me up one-on-one but also, if you don't feel that, journal it out. Writing is so powerful to see the train of your thoughts, the train of your thoughts, track your thoughts, see where they go and continue to ask questions. You have the answers within and And a lot of times we may have a trauma where we feel like we made a mistake. So we have to accept ourselves and understand that you accept yourself because you were doing the best you possibly can then. And because you're aware now you're healing that. So one, you may have a trauma, but also you may just have low self-esteem. You may be like, I don't deserve this because I didn't earn it. But think of it as a blessing, an instant shift is be like, I'm so grateful I get to live this life. And that could instantly shift your self-worth and limiting yourself to be great. You deserve to be great. And the greater you are, the more you experience joy, the more you experience an expansive life, the more you're going to have a high vibration, the higher your vibration, the more you're going to help others around you and help the whole world. Because if the whole world is ecstatic and blissful, we will be better off. So understand the more happy you are, the more excited you are, the more creative you're going to be and the more beauty you're going to create in the world. And that's going to help way more than limiting yourself. So I want you to live limitless. And I'm freaking, whoo, that is the end of the transmission for today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you again for your energy exchange. Wherever you're seeing this, hit me up. I love feedback. I love reverberations and I love the universe and I love my life. So I hope you guys have a beautiful effing day. Feeling chosen in a blissful state Life be flowing beautiful My movements can anticipate Investing in myself Going up real to real estate Call it how you see it When you feel it Then you know it's fate Hold up my guy Asking me how did you figure it out I didn't got rid of the doubt Shit was a cloud Wow, that's pretty profound Every day evolving How the fuck you gonna find them Only dimes in my soul contracts Check the fine print fine. Push through the grapevine Damn, we share the signs Damn, we share Tip on my shoulder All I see is Forgiving my past and I'm blessing my future Healing within every six karma suture Clearing the channel, allowing my genius Going and rolling, you feeling it lost my Aura like menorah, shout out mama, do it for us Horoscopy rising Taurus Maybe peeking into future lifetimes Waiting for the right time Looking on the bright side Either way, I'm blessed to say This just one of those days I'm beaming, I'm going Got a feeling, it's a knowing Can't control it, I just